Hi, welcome to Backyard Bakes. We will show you how easy it can now be for you to do your own authentic New England clam bake. This is a modification of an ancient cooking procedure that we have successfully used hundreds and hundreds of times. It is the result of many years of experimentation, simplification, and fine tuning so that your results are assured without the concern or anxiety of trial and error. See, a clam bake is an event, and it's done usually right in front of people. Uh, it's not like you're cooking off in the back 40 somewhere and, and nobody sees you. It's all part of the party, and so you should be able to enjoy it. I always thought that clam bakes could only be done on a beach. Well, you know, that's the way they started. The Indians uh, started this whole thing. You've all read about it, where you dig a hole in the, in the sand, line it with these big rocks, and collect driftwood, and have a bonfire for several hours, and uh, throw seaweed on it after the rocks get really hot. Um, and then on top of the seaweed, you put your food, similar to this, and then you cover it over. Uh, the difference, of course, here is that this is um, much quicker, much more reliable, and you can do it anywhere. Not too many people have a beach. And it's very important to remember that the source of heat isn't the magic to a clam bake. It's what happens above the seaweed. This is identical. The food's going to be identical to an original clam bake the Indians used to do uh, because it's all steam cooked together simultaneously over seaweed. And, you, and in spite of the fact that everything in, is in its natural state, no seasonings, uh, you're going to be thrilled with the uh, end result of a clam bake because it's truly different. Okay, this is the finished product. This is what you've been working for. As they say in Maine, this is wicked good. Hey, it's a clam bake.